Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update where we finish the last, by Christoph Fratten's Setter Dog. Behind this we now see an impressive statue of Scottish hero William Wallace. The model here is of the statue in Druid Hill Park in Baltimore. This is an oversized copy of David Watson Stevenson's statue of Wallace on the corner of the Wallace Monument at Abbey Craig, near Stirling. The statue displayed at the Great Exhibition was by Alexander Handyside Ritchie, and was believed to be a virtually identical pose. It was displayed here, in the gems, clays and stones section of the minerals class, because it was carved from hard-wearing Craigleith stone from the Red Hall Quarry near Edinburgh. The fate of Ritchie's statue is not known. Many thanks to Terry Kilby for scanning the Baltimore statue and creating the model for us. Returning to the nave, we see a lighthouse lens by Chance Brothers and Company of Birmingham. A very similar lens is currently on display in the main hall of the National Museum of Scotland in Edinburgh. Travelling east along the nave, just past the Ross Telescope, we come to the first two items in the minerals manufacturer's section. Two round tables by Thomas Woodruff of Bakewell, Derbyshire. We have previously met Thomas Woodruff's work in the Fine Art Court, where he displayed two console tables made of the same material. The material is Ashford black marble, a fine-grained dark limestone, not a marble in the true sense of the word. It polishes well, hence its use for this sort of table. The table on the left is now at the Buxton Museum and Art Gallery, and we are grateful to them for providing us with the photograph of the table top, and photographs, diagrams and dimensions of the whole table, which enabled us to create this model. The current location of the table on the right is not known. The table top image comes from Digby Wyatt's The Industrial Arts of the 19th Century. A series of illustrations of the choicest specimens produced by every nation at the Great Exhibition of Works of Industry, 1851. Continuing our journey east along the nave, and then turning north we enter one of the machinery courts. This is a steam hammer by James Naismith of Manchester. One of these Naismith steam hammers is now on display at London Science Museum. Returning to the nave we come to our last item this update. We started with one William, and we end with another. This is a model of the statue of William Shakespeare by Giovanni Fontana in Leicester Square Gardens in London. It is substituting for the similar statue by John Bell which we cannot locate and believe is lost. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.